Uh, I'm Steve Dowd, Dowd Orchards at Denver, Indiana. We're uh, north central Indiana, kind of in the corn belt, not exactly the fruit belt. Dowd Orchards has been a family uh, operation here in uh, north central Indiana for a long time, uh, 125th year coming up here. And um, we've always been, uh, tried to be a, to grow varieties, a, a diverse group of varieties, which uh, uh, gave consumers a, a good choice of something, you know, truly uh, tasty and unique that they couldn't necessarily get in the stores. It's a, a rural area with not a huge, uh, like, urban clientele to deal with, but we do have a stable uh, rural population here, and we get, uh, during the course of the season, get uh, uh, people coming from a few population centers within 50 miles or so. We've uh, subscribed to the uh, uh, integrated pest management uh, philosophy ever since it was introduced a few decades ago, and of course the uh, idea of sustainability and uh, uh, I guess efficiency is to use no more chemical inputs than is absolutely necessary, and of course that's one of the reasons to grow disease resistant and uh, adapted varieties in that uh, spraying is not as crucial and, and as critical. and. Uh, you know, you can have lower uh, inputs in terms of chemicals and other things that uh, it takes to grow them. Uh, if you're going to produce unique and different varieties, uh, you've got to identify which ones those are and how they would uh, uh, how, how, how they would improve the operation in the future and uh, try not to be wrong very often because it's a big investment to uh, to identify and grow new selections for uh, consumer acceptance. Basically, uh, these are small dwarf trees of advanced selections from uh, MAIA, which is a growers organization that uh, was formed of about the year 2000 to uh, produce uh, new, improved, and crisp consumer acceptable apples for the Midwest, which were adapted for uh, uh, conditions that we have here. Um, what we did uh, with our grant was to uh, have consumers uh, test and uh, taste many of these new advanced selections, which are what these dwarf trees are, uh, and uh, try to arrive at uh, some realistic data to show uh, which ones should be named and introduced and propagated for uh, the future sales and use uh, here in the Midwest, and uh, several varieties have come out of that uh, work, including Evercrisp, which is the biggest new thing on the horizon, we think. Uh, that was a Fuji Honeycrisp cross, and uh, there are many other crosses, but uh, the idea was to produce varieties that, uh, that did well in a climate that had some disease resistant, that, that uh, fruited uh, regularly and dependably for these conditions and uh, that consumers would love and uh, demand in the future. So we feel that that work is well along now and uh, Evercrisp being the first 